Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another paracord bracelet tutorial for you today. So we are doing this pattern. So this is called the uh, chain sinnet paracord bracelet, but we're doing the stitched version, just a little accent I added. So if you look at it, this pattern, it's actually quite similar to the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex paracord bracelet, um, but just slightly different. The method is actually, is actually quite similar, but anyways. Uh, yeah, this one's not too hard. If you've tied a cow stitch before, like the ones we do up here, um, it's the same exact knot, right? And we just added a, some red microcord stitching. This pattern actually looks really great with two colors, but I wanted to do a single color version because uh, there already is a two color version uh, tutorial on YouTube. So that's the back side there. And uh, overall, I think this one came out quite clean. Uh, didn't have too many hiccups on this one. But uh, yeah, this is what we're doing today. So uh, remember guys, if you're looking for uh, where to get Paracord, check out my affiliate links down below. And uh, yeah, remember to check out the affiliate links for any of my featured gear as well. All right guys, with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so I got my Paracord ready here. We're doing the uh, four strand core on the double cow hitch. Of course, I will link the dedicated tutorial for that setup in the description down below as always. So let's get started. I got my two working strands here. Now we are doing the single color. You can do this two color, but uh, we're going to try the single color and add some stitching later. So I'm going to take my two cords. Uh, I've got one on left and right. I'm going to switch them behind like so. So I've got them coming on opposite sides. And now for the right strand, I'm going to take that strand, bring it out on this side, have that over these two cores. And then I'm going to take this end, put it through that opening there, pull it through like so. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Bring that over top, put it through that opening right there. So you're like making an X, and bringing it over. Okay, like this. So I kind of experimented with doing, integrating the stitching accent while you weave, but I think it'll be faster and easier afterwards, doing it after the fact. But we shall see. Okay, so pull these up like so. Now, bring, let's do the right side first, bring this cord underneath like that. Then take that end and put it through this gap right here. And then pull that shut. So we're essentially doing the uh, cow's hitch, or I believe it's also called lark's head. Don't uh, quote me on that, I'm very bad with my terminology. Anyway, so that's one. Now let's do the other. Bring this one under, like so. And then put this through that right there. And then cinch that shut. Now pull that tight. All right, there we go. That is the first set of knots. So now we're back to square one. Okay, so just do the exact same thing. Um, you didn't have to uncross them like I did, but I just did to show you. So cross them again, and then bring it above, above those two strands. Put this loop through here. You can do them one at a time if you want. I'm just showing you them concurrently that so you cord over top like that and then bring that end through here you can kind of grab these both and pull them towards you like that push up and then we'll do the same thing on this side again this time go under bring that cord through there that tight 
And then same thing on this side. Bring that in through there. See, super simple. If you've done the uh, cow's hitch before, you'll know how to do this one. Okay, and see, they're actually already kind of crossed over, so like this, so you can still just continue as you were. All right, so that is the pattern. I've done two sets of knots, as you can see, and now we're just gonna continue uh, weaving down our core, and we will add that stitching accent later, right? So just continue going. So I made my way down my bracelet, and for the last couple knots, I will need to use my FID. I've already done it on one side, just wanna quickly show you on this side. Bring that through there. And then put this last strand through here. There we go. Okay, so that is done. I think what we'll do is I'm just going to take these strands and maybe tuck them underneath um, here and here. Probably have to do that with my hemostats. Let's uh, get those out. So let's bring out my hemostats, of course, because my cordage is not long enough. I'm just going to tuck them underneath each, underneath each of uh, these sides here. I think that should be okay. Let's skip that. Let's get one through here. Let's get the other one through this side. Okay, so that's through now. That looks okay. It's not too bad. It didn't deform the knots too badly. So we can snip and singe those there, but now we're going to add our stitching. So this part is completely optional, but if you want to add a little bit of an accent to it, we're going to do this. So I'm going to put my micro cord on my FID. I'm going to start behind here. I want to come out right there. If you're not really sure, you can always prod and poke from this side. Let's kind of open it up and you can tell where to go in from, right? So let's do that. So I'm go through here, bring most of my cord through, be careful not to pull it all the way through. And then I'm just gonna follow this line here because I wanna go through all of these. So then next I'm gonna go through here, right? Pull that all the way through. so and then we're gonna go on this side so again if you're not sure just kind of take your fit and kind of work it through here first there we go see Right through there. You may argue that integrating the stitching is better while you weave, but I don't know, I found that a little more confusing. But do whatever works for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue going back and forth now through my knots here. So I wanna go through here. There we go. I'm gonna make my way all the way down all the way down this side. Then when I get to here, I'm just gonna transition over and go back up this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way down here. So I made my way down one side. Now, this last stitch didn't work out too perfectly because of the way I tucked my cords in, but 
that's okay. It's just on the bottom part here. So to transition over, we're just going to go here and then make your way back up. Getting caught on my mat here. I really need a different setup. I don't know what do you guys think? Okay, so yeah, just go make your way back up. Same way, right? And yeah, go along this edge and finish it off up here. All right, I am just about done. Got the last stitch going through here. And there we go. So for this last strand, I can probably just tuck it underneath a couple of these strands here. Let's do that right now, actually. Let's go under these. Let's go under four of them. Two sets. That should be more than enough. I guess I should have done that with the um, the initial strand here, the starting. So you can just use your um, hemostats to do that. Should be okay though. We can snip and singe it right there. All right, so snip and singe off the excess, these cords here, and these two here, and then we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. There is the bracelet done in, in its entirety. Got the excess snipped off. It looks pretty good, I think. This one turned out quite well. Really love this subtle accent here, you know? So, uh, this is it guys. This has been the Stitched Chain Sinnet. Hope you guys enjoyed this paracord bracelet tutorial as usual. And remember guys, if you're looking for where to get paracord, check out those affiliate links down below because when you shop through those, you're helping out this channel greatly. And also, if you want to support my channel, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will definitely see you on the next one. Bye.